Hi, I'm Ren. I'm Sam. I'm Tosh. And, and we're, we're the, the T Swift, Swift Sisters. Sisters. Welcome back to the Tea Swift Sisters podcast, a Taylor Swift fan podcast for Swifties by Swifties. Today's episode is a Valentine's Swifty special. Here's this week's Swift Scoop. First of all, happy Valentine's Day. I mean, we literally like there's something special to be said about the fact that our episode is releasing on Valentine's Day when we are swimming in the love that is Tavis right now and the Super Bowl. So I think we'll start just with a little teeny weeny baby recap about how Taylor Swift won the Super Bowl in her rookie season. We love that for her. Love it. Iconic. Amazing game. A little slow at first. And then all of a sudden, just absolutely crazy. Did you guys watch? What did you think? I know that we were kind of chatting during the halftime show, which was absolutely breathtaking. What the are Usher thoughts? concert. Yes, the literal Usher concert. My stepdad the entire weekend was like, oh, did you hear Taylor Swift's boyfriend is playing at the Usher concert this weekend? I'm like, okay. You're like, okay, thanks. <laughs> I saw that on a lot of people's stories, actually. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I watched. It was iconic. Like you said, slow at first. Right after Usher, things just went uphill, obviously. Not surprised at that. I think it was the momentum that everyone needed. And I think they said it was the seventh longest like Super Bowl game ever. So mm-hmm. like that was pretty cool, like that it went to overtime. And I think they like showed her like a decent amount but like the dads brads and chads are probably fine because they like didn't make it a big big deal ever they are not fine they are you don't think they're fine no like i've been on instagram literally all day long oh my god and everybody on every account and the thing is it's dads brads chads and like I don't know what to like make a girl name out of it but there are so many women too hating on taylor and i'm just like I'm honestly a little bit glad that the season is over because I'm so tired of this narrative. I was watching you. You guys know how I've shared that our local news here is like half Swifty because they're always talking about Taylor Swift on the local news. And I guess somebody like a reporter was out at a restaurant and like asking people their anticipation for the game, how they were feeling, who did they think they was going to win? What about seeing Taylor there? And a young woman, she was about our age was like talking trash on the news about Taylor and about how like the game is it about her and it just needs to end already. And like, they're pushing Taylor on us. And I'm like, Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, yeah. So the dads, brads and chads still found something to cry about, but I don't like, it's just seeing them so happy just erases all of that for me. Like every piece of content that I'm fed, I'm like, I can overlook everything that everyone's saying because I don't think I've ever seen her happier in her entire life, truly. Yeah, this was definitely a high moment. And that was so funny when she first came out and we saw the first pictures with her, Blake Lively and Ice Spice and people on Instagram were like, the Avengers have assembled. (laughs) And then we see Lana. Oh my God. Also justice for Lana because she got absolutely trampled. I saw that. (laughs) Wait, I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah, because you only saw her for a split second and then she gets, you know, crushed by a group of friends. But um, I loved seeing them, you know, so happy, celebrating together, having the time of their life, you know, almost like blocking out all the other energy that comes with these football games. Um, But she is just like on a high, I'm sure right now with Travis. And you can see in her face, like, the passion, the love, the excitement. It's really, you know, wearing your heart on your sleeve for her right now. And I love that. Yeah. She looks like us at the Eras tour, actually. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> and when they like, when they like hugged and like, he also got so emotional. It just like, 
Did you hear that he told her, come here, baby girl, and like, hug? I can't, no, I can't. Everything that they do, I'm like, I want to watch it like a, like a movie unfold. Every video, I'm like, yes, watch. I don't care how many times I've seen it, a new account, absolutely, I will watch that. The new content. Videos, yes, the videos of them at the club, like Taylor Swift dancing to Taylor Swift music is us dancing to Taylor Swift music at the club, like, with her off. dad. With her man, like there's nothing more perfect on this earth than seeing that. Like she's like calling her, like I'll be the princess, you be the prince. Like yes, yes, because you are American royalty. Yes, it's full circle. It's a full circle moment here. True, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I absolutely love them. I'm so blessed that the NFL has decided that the Super Bowl is the second weekend in February and that it's like been so close to Valentine's for so many years in a row because now like my heart is a flutter, really. Mm -hmm. I love that. (laughs) It's just like, I want to print a a picture of them and like hang it in my house for like inspiration in life. I can't. (laughs) And like, I found out too that after they were hanging out at the club until 5 a.m., do you know what they did? What would they do? They went together to have chicken tenders and French fries after the club at 5 a.m. Why does that sound like something? That, no. no, literally. Yeah. American royalty. Like, need I say That is that? what we did after Eras tour in L.A. Yeah, like, literally, Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl was us at the Eras tour. The only thing we're missing is, like, hitting up the club after, which... Honestly, if there was a club in the area, we probably would have done and then had chicken tenders. We had it at like three in the morning versus five. So I love that for them. They're normal people just like us. I know. And now the best part about all of this is that like the Chiefs have their Super Bowl uh, parade. So like they go back to their hometown and the hometown throws them a huge parade on Wednesday. So Valentine's Day, I think Taylor will probably already be in Australia because she's in Melbourne this week. But once all of that wraps up, Travis has like a good amount of time, like two or three months in the off season before he has to start training again. He's going to be our heiress king. He is. He's going to rock that 87 or 89. Op- the opposite. <laughs> no, he, oh, yeah. Because he'll be wearing 1989 yeah. merch. I get you. Yeah. I get you. <laughs> what a time to be alive and what a time to be a Swifty right now. Imagine like being a Swifty for the first time and then seeing Taylor, like, you're like, wow, I love this lady. She makes great music concerts, super cool. And then all of a sudden you just see her so happy in this lifestyle. You're like, Oh my God. That's why I like the haters piss me off because I'm like, all you are is jealous of literally just somebody enjoying their lives. No, a hundred percent. Like, like just jealous, babe. She's literally just vibing, trying to support her boyfriend while being with friends. Like, there's literally nothing wrong with that. And it's nobody's fault that that's what's being shown on the television. They didn't like, even show her that much at the game. I was and like, like, hey, if anything, it is, it's just media related. Like, if you're looking for anyone at fault, blame the media, blame the broadcasters. They know what they're doing. They do this to us as fans. You know, they target specific moments like we see on tabloids, on headlines, little things to make us feel a certain way, to think a certain way. Obviously, they're going to feed into the Brad's, Chad's, and Dad's because they're g- trying to get people riled up. Like, blame. The big people, okay? It's literally not Taylor Swift or the Swifties, you know? That's crazy. But I, at the same time, like, I feel like the NFL is, like, excited about the Swifties. Like, obviously, they're excited about the revenue that we're making them now, right? Because of the amount of women that are now tuning in to just watch Taylor Swift. So they'll pan the camera, like, at the first weeks that it was happening, yes, Taylor was on the screen a lot because it was just something new and, like, everybody was shocked about it. But now, like, New York Times, I I think we might have talked about this last week. If we didn't, 27 seconds was the average amount of time that Taylor Swift was on the screen. And those 27 seconds are for all of the fans who are turning into the game literally just to watch Taylor Swift. Let us have our 27 seconds. Let Taylor Swift support her boyfriend and move on from life. Like, no, literally. What else needs to be said about that? We don't see her on our TV on a day-to-day basis. So can we just have these few seconds? 
27. Like I, I made the Swifty bingo cards. And if you played Swifty bingo with us, thanks. I hope you had fun. I totally know that there were some parts that I like butchered and messed up. You know, I made these on the fly. So just next year will be better. They were fun. Nonetheless. Thank you. I enjoyed it. We, we had like everybody in my fam here was playing too. We had a good time about it. There were a lot of things that I put on the card expecting there to be so much coverage and they simply did not happen because there was not enough coverage of Taylor Swift like as a Swifty like I wanted to see friendship bracelets like there weren't any friendship bracelets and then I had like somebody holding a sign that said like kind of like a I'm just here for Taylor Swift that was like one of the bingo boxes and those were things that I saw in the coverage after or like on Instagram after. So it was like a dad and his daughter at the game. But then her sign was like, oh, just here for like, or like Taylor, I love you. But today I'm a Niners fan kind of thing. So um, you get what I'm saying, though? Like those things didn't even happen in the broadcast. You didn't even right. find out about that stuff until after because they simply sh- didn't show her the whole time. Mm-hmm. My soapbox, but whatever. Season's done. They were so happy, so like drunk in love, living their best life. I'm so excited to see. Like, do we think that maybe when tour starts and like he's on tour with her for a while, it'll be Karma is the guy on the Chiefs, like until he's not there anymore? I'm gonna go with yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go with yes too. Yeah, I'm gonna say fetch, (laughs) fetch, super fetch. Wow, something we all agree on. An anomaly on this podcast. It truly. <laughs> okay, last thing before we move on to the Valentine's Day fun. Did you guys see how rep coded the Super Bowl was yesterday? Just yes. more. <laughs> okay, I you guys mentioned some stuff that I didn't see, but I noticed actually one of our followers pointed out, she was like, Oh my god, did you just see that Disney Plus commercial that was so like rep coded, right? And I was like, What? And I look up and it's like the typewriter typing all the Disney movies and like references. And then all of a sudden the screen goes black and says, Ready for it. Are we clowning for rep TV again? Or fetch. You think what? I think it's fetch. I think it's super fetch too. Or or are we clowning that reputation? The movie stadium tour, yeah, is is going on Disney Plus. I mean, that would be iconic because then my my theory would be super correct, and right, that would literally inflate my head to the biggest size. It should, but (laughs) no. What I mentioned to her, what I responded back to her, I said, "What if there?" So the new. Eras tour film, whatever rendition of the Eras tour film it is, like version 12 already, is going to be uploaded to Disney Plus March 15th. And it includes Cardigan, which we said we were like, okay, they're leaving Cardigan for like the last version of the film, plus four acoustic songs. And I think they're four Taylor's version acoustic songs. Like, I think they emphasize that. And I know that Taylor Swift, Taylor Nation has been running with like a hashtag Taylor's version. Like, everything right now is very Taylor's version coded. So I'm like, what if one of those four songs is a rep Taylor's version song and we're kind of like getting into the rep era now? Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. I really don't know. Like I have no idea, but I'm definitely back to clowning for rep. Oh, <laughs> what did you guys say that you noticed? Because of both of you noticed, I just, I guess I didn't watch the, in the, the video. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, so it was, well, when you said ready for it, that's what made me, like, remember it. Um, And their, like, intro video for the Kansas City Chiefs, like, but, like, just with the players before the game started, Travis Kelsey literally said, are you ready for it? And then winked. And Sammy saw it too, right? (laughs) (laughs) I absolutely saw it too. And that was before, of course, that was an intro video. We saw that before getting the Disney Plus commercial. commercial. So it was a lot of uh, entities that are connected to Taylor Swift that are kind of dropping rep TV language, Easter egg. So I and don't know. everybody keeps saying, are you ready for it? I was going to say, and what are the odds that it's the same lyric too? And yeah. the wink. The wink is yeah. giving like. Yeah, like I know something coming. you don't know. Yeah. And also for Disney Plus, that was, like you said, it was the typing of different titles. That was the last one. And the screen changed. The typing of different titles was on a white screen with black font. And then they changed it to a black screen with white font. Now we can really clown. 
As much, yeah, it's so fetch. No it's doubt. It's time to clown again. I can't believe we just stopped clowning for one week. <laughs> the makeup comes back on. <laughs> I'll do yours if you do mine. <laughs> So, I mean, I don't know, I guess we, it's, it's either like, and we have talked about this as one of the options as well, that during the release, the at home release is when she announces rep TV. We did. That was a theory we had. That was a theory we had. I don't know, man. I think Taylor Swift's been listening to this podcast. Taylor, thank you for listening. We Thanks. love you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that's it. I think we're ready to move on to our V-Day stuff now. So yay. Moving on then, we have some super fun V-Day stuff to celebrate with you guys, with each other. Let's start with our collective, and I know how we are, so this is going to take a long time, which is why I had everybody already bring in five, so we're working with 15. I, there'll probably be like some, you know, layovers. We can knock them off the list, but we today are going to pick our top 10 Taylor Swift love songs of her entire catalog everything mm-hmm. mine are in no particular order right i Same. just picked five agreed and I, ha- I have some that i'm like okay but i also kind of want this one but i'm just gonna i five we agreed five so five okay, okay. daylight <gasps> long story short cornelia street call it what you want and the one that I wrote, I don't think I'm, I think I'm going to pick my or. So my or is king of my heart. Those are my five. <gasps> Mine are so different. We never have different songs. This is same. Crazy. I have no overlap. For real? No Literally. overlap. But you okay. know, maybe because this is, you know, what we interpreted as a love song, like different. Right. Of love, different moments of love. I love this. I, yeah, I was going to say, I love this for us. Okay. I, I predicted that you'd have Daylight and King of My Heart. I figured that. Yeah, I, I, I felt like, yeah, I felt like that one was kind of like, I'm very, very open about those being like Taylor Swift love songs for me. But long story short is an, like kind of a new one for me that I didn't really realize the love story behind it until one day I was just like, it clicked for me. And now like right now that's like my favorite taylor swift song long story short like that's the song that i'm like when i want to listen to taylor i'll put that song on first and then i'll shuffle kind of thing you know i love long story short because i i feel like it's a love song like to myself like that's my love song to myself and it makes me feel like empowered in a way so that's yes It's such a good song. It's such a good song. Yeah. Okay. Who wants to go next? So my list, you are in love. This love, fearless, treacherous, and lavender haze, baby. Mm. All right, Tashi. Mine are fearless. Okay. Superman. Ooh. How you get the girl. I knew it. Mm. Timeless. Oh. An invisible string. Nice. Oh, did how I, you? How do you feel about timeless? Is how I feel about you are in love. It's all right, that I feeling. I. That's why, Sammy. I said I think we'll have overlap because I really thought you'd have timeless. We did I, good though. We only had one overlap, and it was only between me and Sammy out of all of them. Right? What was the overlap? Fearless. Fearless. Oh, yeah, we did good, though. But the problem is now we have to pick from all 15 of those songs. We have to all agree on 10. Yeah, good luck. Uh, I'm frustrated about Timeless. But yeah, I get what you're saying. It, it's like so obvious you miss it. Yes. I'm really that's how I really feel about You're in Love, too. I'm like, what was I thinking? I really don't like that song. So can't really. What? You're, you're in, in Love? love? Ouch. Okay. I love that song so much. Not my favorite though. This love. I don't really like that one. Mm, That one. I just, I can't vibe with it. Okay. Let's pick. So I'll give you guys, we'll add timeless to the list. Thank you. Like to the, to the 10. Okay. To our 10. Yeah. I think we can agree fearless though too. Okay. Or no. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Fearless. Okay. Eight more. Daylight. Justice for daylight. I love daylight. I love daylight. I'm I'm 
Okay. Good with that. Well, do we think you are in love? I'm for Tosh. You're, you're yeah, that's for? yeah. I mean, it's a it's a it's a good love song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Six more. I love me some Invisible String. I love Invisible String too. I'd be down for that one. Okay. Ooh, Sammy, you got no. I do. No, yeah, I do. I do. Is it the yogurt shop? Is it a trigger for you? (laughs) 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 Name some of the ones on your on your list. I need like a refresher. I we I did daylight, so we're good on that one. Cornelia, we said no. Call it what you want. I know Natasha hates that song. Wait, did you have King of My Heart? I do have King of My oh, Heart. Oh, King of My Heart, King of My Heart. Okay. Um, okay. What if we find in is is it possible to think of a new one? Yes. 100%. Our song. <laughs> Too bad that on like our Valentine's Day playlist that we're going to curate for you guys, I wrote that down as like one of the the V-Day songs, our song. And like from debut era, I'm only me when I'm with you. Uh, that was that one I was going to add to my list. I yeah. love that song. It's yeah. such a good like. A hundred percent. Yeah. But is it that, like cheating if we add it? Should that be our 10th song? I think we so. just all hyped it up. That that could be like the, we all agree. I'm yeah. only me when I'm with you. Love it. And we it's so niche, it. you know, you have to like yeah. really be a, a deep rooted Swifty for that one. Mm, tap into your roots for that one yeah i love that i love our little top 10 taylor swift valentine songs we'll put it on like a little instagram graphic for you guys so you can see and then we're also going to curate a playlist with all of our favorite taylor love songs not on the top 10 just like of all time kind of thing yay yeah love this okay so next thing best taylor love advice you've learned from an event a lyric an interview i picked uh like lyric okay okay Okay. so I have three for my love advice that I got from lyrics from Taylor so first one is from 15 I found time can heal most anything love that one super relatable right second one is from New Year's Day I'll be there if you're the toast of the town babe or if you strike out and you're calling home I love that I love that too I'll do good in the bag right Mm -hmm. And then my last one is from Peace. All these people think love's for show, but I would die for you in secret. Like just loving love for what it is, for itself, true, nothing more. Mine is like, honestly, super cheesy. And like, you probably knew that I was going to say it, but I think I've really learned a lot from Taylor and like the, the birth of the Tavis relationship and like the ending of her past relationship. And just like about how you can, really when you find your person like they are your person and they will make you shine and glow just like in a way that nobody else can because your relationship is so like true to who you are kind of thing like I feel like I've really been learning a lot about myself and my own relationship through that so I think that's like the best advice that she's given us like she found somebody that lets her be jeweled as like dumb and meme as it is. It's so evident. And I think it's really something like when you look past the football, when you look past the clowning, when you look past like all of the like fangirling over it and you really pay attention, like you can see that they're, as we say in Spanish, like a linda pareja. Mm-hmm. Um, they're like wall. loving in action. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? A, a pretty wall. But that's buddy. Buddy. <laughs> good try. Good try. I always say that though. I guess like because they're so close that every time people like in our in my family will call Adrián and I like a linda pareja, I'm always like, thank you for calling us a pretty wall. I appreciate it. <laughs> a nice little wallpaper. <laughs> okay, mine is the ending of daylight. When she says, I want to be defined by the things I love, not the things I hate or the things I'm afraid of. I just think you like you are what you love. Mm -hmm. That like has always stood out to me, like from the minute I heard it. It's like even my bio, like I just love the lyric, like you are what you love. Um, I think it just like is so deep when you like really think about it. So yeah, that ending is like one of the reasons why Daylight is my favorite or like I would say it probably is still my favorite song of all time, but like, it's just so good. And it's so deep 
And I feel like it's so overlooked. Like, why do people not know that Daylight is the gem that she is? Taylor Swift literally almost named the Lover album Daylight. Like, that's what it was until the last minute when she was like, no, I'm going to change it to Lover. That's crazy. I used to get it confused a lot with Afterglow. Yes, me which too. Is why, which is why I needed to pause because I was like, I need to make sure that it's Daylight and not Afterglow. Yes. I love Afterglow too, though. That is such mm-hmm. a good freaking song daylight Mm -hmm. and afterglow oh my gosh that's so funny that like you guys also get confused by that because i never understood why i got confused by it no literally same i think it's just like they're both about like light light reference (laughs) yeah and like two syllables like not two syllables but like a compound word like it's just hard it's just hard. yeah yeah just the brain just does not process that one for whatever reason (laughs) Oh, I love that. Okay, so now for the fun part. God. Let's do some Taylor Swift Valentine's Day love trivia. I'm going to ask a question. We can pause for like a quick second. So maybe our listeners who are playing along trivia with us can like think of the answer and say it too. So it's not, I would say it's like middle school level trivia. Like it's not, you know, there's some elementary questions. There's some master's education questions but average is like middle school okay all right don't be scared i'm gonna be so bad at this don't be scared don't be scared okay in what year did taylor swift release her romantic anthem love story i'll give you a multiple choice okay 2011 2007 2008 or 2010 i don't know timelines like that but okay, I'm going to go with, um, should we guess? I gave you multiple choice. <laughs> yeah, I was going to guess. <laughs> okay, how about, okay, so to the, Say, I'll, I'll, agree. <laughs> I'll let you, like, I'll give you a little, a little hinty hint. Okay. 2010, May 2010 or June 2010 was us at the Speak Now World Tour graduating eighth grade. So 2008. Yes, correct. That's what I was going to guess. Okay. Okay. Okay, This one is easy. This one is easy. Taylor Swift appeared as a character in an iconic 2010 Gary Marshall film. What was the name of the movie? Valentine's Day. Yes. Love that one with Tay and Tay. Yes. I can. I like since 2010. On Valentine's Day, I will watch that movie every year. Just that's the way it's, it's got to go. So good. Tradition. Yes. Okay. Gosh, I'm so surprised you know that one since you're not going to movies. I know, but I like that movie. Nice. Okay. Who did Taylor Swift meet on the set of this movie as her on screen love interest, who later became her IRL love interest? Ooh. Wait, can you repeat the question? Who did Taylor Swift meet on the set of the movie that we just talked about as her on screen? Yes. I was like, what movie are we talking about? Got it. Okay. She's kind of long. (laughs) Yeah. So I originally thought that they were already dating when they filmed this movie, but they actually met on the set of this movie. And then that's how they started dating after. Interesting. Yeah. My, my, uh, like timelines weren't crossed. Okay, this one is a little bit harder. This one's a hard one. Uh oh. Yeah. It's okay if you don't know the answer. We'll talk about it, whatever. It's just, you know, some fun facts too. In the film, Valentine's Day, Taylor was wearing a track and field t shirt with a school name on it. She also referenced the school in the You Belong With Me music video. It also happens to be an Easter egg. For the actual high school Taylor Swift attended. What is the name? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> she tapped out so quick. Oh my God. This is so annoying. For some reason, it's I like on the tip of your tongue. No, I have the name of the Glee High School blocking any other memory right now. William and McKinley no, High School. I know it's not McKinley High. <laughs> but are you asking for the name the name of the school? Right. Yeah, it's so the okay. name of the school is what she was wearing on the t-shirt. And then she also like it's the name of the school in the You Belong With Me music video. And it's also it's an Easter egg because it's also where Taylor went to high school. So like that's okay. the high school that she uses. 
I'll just say the answer. It's Hendersonville because that's the high school she went to in Tennessee. She lived in Hendersonville. She went to Hendersonville high or like, I guess she lives in Nashville. Hendersonville is like the first town over kind of thing. Yeah. That was master's level. <laughs> this that. one is, this one's elementary guys. If you don't get this one, I'm going to be mad. Oh. What was the name of the tour Taylor Swift had been planning for 2020? Lover fast. fast. There you go. <sighs> I was about to be like, I'm having te- technical difficulties. I think, <laughs> I, think I am glitching. Glitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what song did Taylor Swift swap out early in the Eras tour for the one instead? Was that Invisible Street? Invisible. Yes. Okay. <laughs> in Good job, <laughs> guys. Good job. Okay, this one's a fill in the blank. It's a like four parter fill in the blank. So I'll say the beginning and then you'll you'll get it. It's a song. We're filling in the lyrics. Okay. okay. I could tell you his favorite colors. Blue. <laughs> green. Green. <laughs> it's green. It's green. It's green. <laughs> oh no, the Swifties. Blue. The internet Swifties are gonna come after you. No. <laughs> Say goodbye to the podcast. We're getting canceled. <laughs> How did I forget what it rhymes with? Okay. He loves to argue. Born on the 17. You All got right, Sammy, it. you're up. <laughs> his sister's beautiful. He has his father's eyes. And if you ask me if I love him, I lie. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Blue. 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 <laughs> that was good. My face hurts. You were so confident. Oh my gosh. That was fun. All right. In the song The Last Time, Taylor Swift duets with which British musician? Gary Lightning Bolt. Yes. Light body. Light body. <laughs> AKA Renee. <laughs> I always have to I'll play you. Okay. What is the title of the song Taylor Swift wrote for the movie One Chance? I'm out. Natasha. Wait. Okay. Hint. 1989 Taylor's version. For the movie One Chance. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait. Huh? She's mouthing it. Wait. Start again. I missed the first half. <laughs> <laughs> this life is sweeter than oh god yeah dang it how did i not know that like i, I love that i song. thought you would know that because when you literally sent us the song it, it's the one chant like it says one chance huge on it on the cover it, art i didn't remember what one chance was but yeah, yeah me no yeah i feel that i feel that a little bit but I, when i read that question like i knew what the answer was before like Right. Getting the answers. Gosh, you said it to us. I was confident. I thought it was an anime still, so I really don't know. Wait, what? It that movie's yeah. an anime? No, I thought it was. Oh. So I'm like really lost with just what it is. <laughs> okay. But- okay. <laughs> two more questions. There's two more questions. The the next two are easy, and then that's it. You guys made it through. I think we would have won the trivia night. Okay. <laughs> In what album are the celebrities Drake and Leonardo DiCaprio referenced on? Lover. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Blue. 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 All right, last one. What Taylor Swift song is an invisible string to Travis Kelsey because she references someone coming in wearing a football helmet? The one that says, I'll be 87, you'll be 80. No, that, no, no. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know God. why I keep I'm thinking that. Sorry. I, wait. Stay, stay, stay? Yes. Mary's song. I said, okay, let's talk. Good job, guys. <laughs> that was tough. <laughs> it was more master's level. I mean, no, I, I just, it, it's just like. It's hard to think on the spot sometimes. I was going to yeah. say, yeah, on the spot. I get that. I get that. 
Okay. So because today's Valentine's day, we want to have a little bit of fun on our story. So head to our Instagram. We're having some fun little questions where you can let us know your favorite Taylor Swift love song. Just head over there and play along with us and we'll share your answers. But I think that pretty much wraps up this week's episode, our little Valentine's Day Swifty special. Before we log off, please remember to follow our podcast on your listening platform by clicking the plus button next to our show and give us a rating. Follow us on social media for live TS News updates and so much more. And you can find us on Instagram and TikTok at TSO Sisters Pod and Twitter at TSO Sisters. So I know personally for me, I'm going to jump off this, go watch The Bachelor, and then go watch Valentine's Day, the movie. It's actually on Hulu, by the way. If anybody here has Hulu, you can find it there. Go watch. Yeah, you're welcome. And if you haven't seen it already, please go watch it. It's like young Taylor and Taylor. They're so cute. I love them. Okay. Thanks for savoring this week's Swift Scoop. We hope you've had your fill of all things Taylor Swift. And we will see you next week right here on the T-Swift Sisters podcast. Bye.